Hello children, I'm just back from a walk and I've been collecting some sticks for our activity today. Now, we often go out and about collecting different objects, so take yourself for a walk because you're going to need a stick. Now I've collected three here, one that's quite long, one that's quite short, one that's in the middle and I'm going to use this middle size one, it's nice and thick as well. We're going to be making magic wands. Now I've chosen one that I can hold nice and tight, but also has plenty of space on it as well. So you're going to be making your wand using wool and I've got a couple of different colours of wool here and we're going to be practising those skills, those things we do to keep our fingers nice and strong which really helps with our handwriting. You're going to need to use your wool to decorate your magic wand. The wool that decorates and wraps around your magic wand adds the magic in to make it work. So you're going to need to start by very carefully holding your first piece of wool against your stick. Can you see I'm holding it with one finger, the other hand is free. And we're going to wrap the wool around our stick. And I'm going round and round and round. And I, as I let go with my finger that was holding the end, you can see that I've wrapped it over the top of the end. And my hand is having to go up and over and round, up and over and round. And I'm having to move my arm, but also hold the stick tight. So these hand, this hand and these fingers are working. But this hand and these fingers are working too. So we're going to have a go at wrapping it round. I'm having to do something called pulling tension. So I'm not keeping the wool all droopy because it doesn't wrap round very well. And can you see, it doesn't pull tight. So you're having to pull on your string tight, using strength from your fingers to pull tight as you wrap your string around. Now as you get to the end you can either choose to tie a knot or you can wrap it and again hold the end with your special finger. This is your index finger. Hold it with your finger before you get your next piece of wool. Now here comes my next one. This is a bit tricky. I've got to hold my pink wool and my grey wool with that finger. When I've got them nice and tight with that tension, remember I'm holding tight with this hand and holding tight with the string over here. Off I go again, wrapping my string around my stick. This is creating the magic round the wand. Now you can choose as many different colours as you would like for your wand. So I've made a start on mine. I'm going to head off now and choose some more. Now if you want to and you have at home, you might choose to add some beads to your wand. You don't have to. I have a pot of beads that I, my children are used to in my class. So you might choose to very carefully, with your fingers, thread the bead onto the wool. But that's quite tricky to do. So again, you're going to have to be really thinking about holding the wool tight and the bead and threading through. So it's really good practice for your fingers. And it's also been lovely for you to be out in the fresh air and having a walk you stretching your legs while you collect your sticks so this is a really lovely activity to be doing enjoy your magic wands when they're made have a go at casting some spells i hope you don't turn any mummies or daddies or teachers into frogs be careful with them enjoy making your wand enjoy wrapping get those fingers nice and strong that helps you have such lovely handwriting take care boys and girls see you soon Bye bye